Hi guys, welcome back to Adventures in the Schoolhouse. And today we are reading From Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Heigelman, illustrated by Barry Weissman. And it is a level one science book. Let's read and find out. So this is a fun one. And we're gonna read this to go along with our um, Caterpillar to Butterfly Life Cycle Project. All right. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Just like our caterpillars will. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our very own classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. We're learning fun science words, guys. Lots of vocabulary. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. And I'm gonna point to it so you can see it. Tiny egg. It's the size of a pinhead. There's one, two, three, four tiny eggs on that leaf. And that's the way our eggs came to us, right? When the caterpillar hatched out of the eggs, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat the green plants right away. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. So it will grow and grow and grow. Here's some other vocabulary, guys. The caterpillar is also called a larva. Each day <clears throat> when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. And there it is just like ours. First, an egg, then a little comma, then a bigger comma, and then it got big and fat. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. So he's climbing out of his own skin four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. So their little pinky finger, it's huge. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk and it attaches it to that branch. And then he hangs upside down. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Now in our jar, we don't have a twig, so it's gonna hang from on the top of the jar. Then it molts for the very last time. Do you see how he's shedding his skin? climbing out of his skin. Instead of new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. And there it is hanging upside down from the twig. And ours is hanging upside down from the top of the lid in our cup. Every day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening. But inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. And there they are journaling, just like you guys are journaling in your science journals at home. Documenting all the changes. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. And there he is, he's starting to emerge. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, 
a body, and then wings. It's a beautiful butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly. And we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumbled. It hangs on to the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. So here he is, the painted lady, just like ours. And he's hanging upside down, holding on to that chrysalis till he's ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar and the butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. There he goes out the window. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. And here, how many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. And here's the monarch, here's the black, swallowtail. Here's the cabbage white. Here's a dog face butterfly. Here's a common blue and a buckeye. These are what the caterpillars look like before they change into the butterfly. Okay guys, excited to see what happens next in our butterfly journey. I'll see you next week.